Good day, darlings. Happy New Year. I pray that you guys rang it in absolutely fabulously. I sure I did. Spent it with Mama Tinder and Tinder and his uncle. Kept it in the house. Very mature, very safe and affordable ring of the New Year because this year, 2020, family, safe, healthy, affordable. That's what we're living. With a little bit of crazy on the side. <laughs> I don't know what you did, but I hope it was a good one. We're back at the grind. Back at making dreams come true. As you can see, I'm at church waiting for them to open so we could go in. It's something I do every morning, at least Monday through Friday. I come to St. Patrick's Cathedral before I head over to work and make my, dream, my dreams come true. I didn't vlog day one of 2020 because I took that day as a hmm, pampering Zen day. We went out to um, Spa, Tinder, Amy, Mama Tinder, and me. We were there, just no electro. I didn't have electronics. My homegirl Amy did. That's why you see the pictures popping up but I didn't post anything hell I didn't even post anything from uh New Year's Eve I was just on the not wanting to do anything I just wanted to take me time which is acceptable everyone should me you vloggers Instagrammers whatever take a time to be like nah I gotta regroup so I did 2020 I don't really have any resolutions um nothing that's out of the ordinary you know get a job I think that's not a resolution that's just life lose weight that's normal you know you want to eat a live a healthy life even if it's not New Year's every day all day you want to make better choices that's why I got my little protein shake right there you see that yes honey starting that protein life well that protein smoothie life I'm doing smoothies at home save money you know like there's nothing out of the ordinary because I'm, I'm not gonna lie I live a blessed life nothing too crazy resolutions just to enjoy life there you go one that I say all the time that's all it is with that we're done with church it's feels so good going in like being in church i feel like my day is gonna go absolutely glorious as much god as much as god can let me my day is gonna be glorious darling glorious now off to work make some dreams come true honey when I woke this morning, I am done, headed out. I'm going to Kinoko. Kinoko. It's a cat cafe uh, in Clinton Street, Lower East Side, I believe, or downtown, where you get to have coffee and snacks amongst cats. They're really popular in uh, Asia, I guess Korea, Japan, and stuff like that. And so there's th this, I guess, the first to have it here in New York, uh, Kinoko. Koniko. I hope I said it right. Oh my God, I almost forgot. Before we head out to Koniko, I'm gonna have them repronounce it. I do need to go over to uh, this like thrift shop that buys your clothes because I went through my closet for things that I don't need in 2020 clothes that I don't wear and I tried selling on Poshmark I feel like it's just a uh, hairy and wait get the pictures up and wait to see if somebody buys it and I feel like nobody's buying what I have so I just go to this shop they buy you know they'll buy whatever and just give you a couple dollars I'm not asking to break you know like to get rich off of it but a little something you know a little, a little something strange for some times <laughs> so yeah and then here's my outfit let me move this back uh it's a little green neon turtleneck sweater some blue jeans and these doc martens that are so painful i'm trying to break them in i put a baseball in there like my home girl told me to do it to like try to fix this but it's so it's painful it does not it does not uh, break them in right away so i might even stop at a, a shoe spot and see if they could break them in for me i don't care i'll pay whatever this thing hurts i start limping with this but i do like my outfit super cute <laughs> There's a line. They don't open till 11. I didn't think there would be a line to come sell your stuff, but I'm not the only one on it. I'm all about cleansing and so are they. 2020, what it do? <laughs> are these all no? Yeah, we're gonna have these back to you. Okay. Either uh, condition or slower style for us. Okay. So they ended up taking none of the clothes, but because I didn't want to carry it home, I just donated it, which is one time. I mean, sometimes I, when I donate, I'm like, I wonder if they're gonna put it on the sales floor anyway. But whatever, I don't want them in my house. I don't need it, I don't wear it. So I just donated it. So 
in front of, I gotta find out how you say it, Kanoko, Kanoko. It's like a coffee shop. You get your drinks, you get your food, and then in the back is where you get to play with the cats. I guess with the FDA, you know, you can't have animals and food together, so that's why they split it. But it's cool, it's kind of cute. You don't have to spend money now. When you come here, you can just look at the cats through the window, which is like anywhere, but in Japan, they're like roaming everywhere. That's what kind of got me interested, but since I paid the $20, I'm going in this bad boy. And I want to know where my $20 goes to. Oh, I'm already here. I'm about to get ready. I am in, I guess, this is like a Japanese inspired, right? Yes. You don't wear shoes, so you got to take your shoes off. But what's your name? Uh, my name is Andrea. Andrea, how do you say the name? Uh, this is Kaneko Cat Cafe. Okay. Kaneko Cat Cafe. So let me get myself ready. Cafe. Uh, I'm unloading right now because I just bought some stuff that I needed for my vlogging and my going out and enjoying life. So I bought this little pouch. Side note, okay, let's get to this though. Um, after I left, I started doing a review of the cat. Like I went in ASAP. And I realized that I was being a little too harsh for no reason. And so when I, you know, when I started doing the review, I was like, let me, let me rewind and and really think about my experience which a lot of people should do moving forward if you're doing reviews on something that you did do it go home and then honestly take it in you know like just go home and review it so like i said melanie went there and i got inspired and i found this cat cafe which is down by hudson so it's in in the village not a village it's um the lo the, the uh south of houston soho <laughs> it's in Soho. I, you know, as you saw, I got there and all that. And sitting there and thinking about it, the experience was kind of cool. You know, if you're a cat person, it's fun because you're there with cats. You know, you get to be around them, rub them. They're very, you know, soft. So it's very soothing on the mind, stress reliever. They're so cute. But if you're going there to play, play with cats, like have them run around with a little tail stuff, that's not the spot. So I'm not, you know, I'm not really pissed about it, but will I go again? No, I didn't like the food. It smelled good, but my pockets did not like the smell. <laughs> we a little, we ballers on a budget, honey. You got my $20 for the cat. But the food, you know, if I would have tried it, I bet you it would have been good. I just, I couldn't afford it at the time. Let's just be honest. Uh, I, you got $20. The cats are cute. Um, if you're a cat lover, hell, go to it. If you're not a cat lover, I think this is something that you could pass. There's many coffee shops everywhere. And if you go into a clothing store, you'll find a cat. Pet one of those and keep it moving. Or pet a cat in the streets. That's just my opinion. Okay? I hope you enjoyed the video. And oh, I, I don't know if I said this, but the $20 do go for the upkeep of the cats. Thanks for watching my videos, my vlogs, which are going to be vloggish travel shows. Okay? Subscribe and hit the, uh, the, uh, the bell somewhere around here. I'm so new to it, right? I'm not used to that, but we'll get to it. Que Dios me lo bendiga hoy, mañana y siempre, which means may God bless you today, tomorrow, forever. Deuces, I'm out.